Hey guys, welcome back. Today, you've gotten your paintings back and you've created a color scheme painting in either cool, neutral, or warm. Um, you used at least two of your watercolor techniques. And then last class, we went in and we added maybe some collage, some alcohol inks, some colored pencil, some oil pastel, water soluble oil pastel. We've embellished it in at least two ways. Well, today we're gonna to create a frame. The objective today is to create a creative frame that highlights our favorite areas of our painting with excellent craftsmanship. The first thing you're gonna do is go over the supply table and think about what color frame do you want. You do want it to match your color scheme. So I have a cool color scheme that I've painted with. I want to choose cool color papers. Purples, greens, blues, turquoises, blue. So any of these would work. These are cool. Your other choice that you could have would be a neutral border. I'm going to let you have a frame that's neutral or the color scheme that matches. Neutral examples would be the um, brown, or the, it could be brown, white, or black. I'm going to choose to use black because I just think that would make a really nice frame and not um, get busy, wouldn't take away from it. The tools that you're going to use today are a cutting board. You must use a cutting board. You cannot cut right onto my table and an X-Acto knife. The X-Acto knives should be tight, okay, and this is the cutting area along here. This is not the cutting area. This beveled edge is the cutting area. The first thing that you're going to do is to draw your frame. The requirements for the frame is that it has to be between 10 to 50 percent, um, no, 50 percent to, to, you know, about 50 percent cut away, okay? So you can see I took my pencil mark and I've drawn a design that if I cut my design away, about 50% would be gone. Let's teach you how to use this knife. This knife cuts along here, not the tip. So you're gonna hold it like you would a pencil. Doesn't matter whether you're a righty or a lefty. And the best way to cut is to cut from 12 o'clock to six o'clock. Imagine this is a clock. Keep your knife still, but move your paper. So I'm keeping my knife still but I'm moving my paper. And that's how I'm gonna get a really nice, crisp cut. I don't wanna see people cutting around in a circle, like with their hands like this. You're just not gonna get a good enough cut. And you'll take your time, because one of the things that I'm grading this on is nice, sharp, crisp cuts. It's in your rubric, okay? Nice, sharp, crisp cuts and good craftsmanship. I'm kind of going fast at this because I've done this before, but for you, you have a long period of time today to do that. If you cut it nicely, it should come right out. There shouldn't be anything that you have to rip or recut, all right? So let me show you. I have cut this one. Here's my frame. It's my advice that you um, put the pencil side, if you see any pencil lines, put that side down. So now you're gonna mount this onto here. If your painting's slightly bigger than the background, that's okay, I can help you on the paper cutter. I'll just trim it off the edge for you, okay? And you're gonna take a glue stick and you will put glue on this side of the paper. I think the best way to do it is to open up to your sketchbook to an extra sheet of paper and put the glue down. Please don't glue on top of here because it'll get stuck for the next people. So you put all your glue down and then you'll line it up and you'll press it down. Just imagine you did that and then you have your frame. You go up to the supply table, you'll get your assessment. You'll do both sides of the assessment. It's open notebook so you can use all your vocabulary from your notes. And then you'll paper clip your assessment to your finished piece and put it in the box top for me to grade. I do want to show you a couple other examples of what frames could look like. You don't have to make more than one, but I did just so that you could see some different designs. That's pretty interesting. It's also cool color scheme, matches. All I did was use the circle templates up there. There's a whole bin of templates if you want to use those. Then 
This one's kind of interesting, okay? So please, crisp cuts, at least 50% cut away, highlighting your best stuff. If you have something really ugly that you wanna hide, build your design in so that it hides whatever it is you're trying to hide, and I can help you plan that if you want. Um, use the cutting board and the knife correctly. Please return the knives to the holder, so I know they're all there at the end of class, and have a little fun, okay? Thank you.